Welcome to Sao Paulo. So we're here for Sexability. We have two weeks before to record some videos for the Somatic Consent work. Yes. Yes. And we are super excited to go to Sexability and having many interested, curious, sex positive... Brazilian people. <laughs> Brazilian people. <laughs> international people and international well. people and yes. there are a lot of international people because we can have a little bit of everything right mm. I think so so uh, how does the Brazilian people take what do they need to hear to know that this is that you know this is the best festival in the world I've been through so many festivals over mm -hmm. the last 20 years or so and mm. in all continents except mm. Africa and mm. Russia but in Asia was I? yeah maybe Anyway, I've been on so many festivals and Sexability is the best festival um, in the world in my experience because it's small, it's intimate, mm. it's absolutely consent based, the people are coming there are really embodied and in, in integrity mm. and I don't know what to say that people really get that, that this is the best festival. What, what does Brazilian people need to hear? Uh, I think most of the people don't even know that festivals like sex positive spaces, they don't even know the concept, the concept, you know, so they need to first know that this type of thing exists. So there are some events happening around the world where people are kind of learning to, uh, to relate better, to have a more conscious relating with their sexuality as well and what to do and how to deal with that when you are with your family, with your partners, with in your work or whatever. And they do that with different perspectives like Tantra could be more like a sacred thing or conscious thing or meditative thing or it depends, it comes from different perspectives or BDSM or different or art or just playfulness and having fun and observing what happens when you put a bunch of adults that can do what they want. And there are different ways to deal with those, to, to, to bring a structure and to hold space for those people. Mm. And you have some opportunities around the world. And sexability is the best. So how, how many sorry how many how many sexability festivals have you done you have done last year here in, in Peter Kanga was two. the first two. and then you came to uh, Sweden to the sexability mm -hmm. so so what would you say in your experience and mm. for the for the Brazilian folks for you guys what is it that you need to hear to come that makes sexability such a success and so safe what what mm. do you think is the core yes yeah, consent based uh, not just consent is not just a word in sexuality, it's a practice, and this is kind of the the mindset in everyone who is holding space, the facilitators, the organization, and this is what we teach for the participants. Um, also, one of my favorite things about sexuality is having different possibilities of how I can explore or how I could explore. So having Tantra BDSM, having just a positive environment for whatever I want to explore as long as I have this base mm. in consent. Mm. And this is a practicing a new culture, uh, practicing being together for kind of a week with someone, with people around me that we can create our own truth and express our authenticity without having to yeah to be afraid because everybody is in the same journey mm -hmm. i mean i've done i think eight sex abilities so teaching wow. uh, on eight sex abilities i think it's number 14 or 13 i'm not sure mm -hmm. anyway you know for me as a facilitator i have to behave you know facilitator <laughs> uh, they just come and teach you guys what we have learned over I don't know 20 years of experiencing stuff and um, and you know the, the thing is that <laughs> I have to go as well on festivals where I'm not a facilitator that I finally can get loose and have the experience that I want to have on a festival without mm. 
behaving. Mm-hmm. Um, and but I've seen people in sexuality having so much fun, so much transformation, so much love, so much mm. pleasure, so, so much joy, so much intimacy and depth and connection and so many different aspects of um, diving deep in themselves spiritually and you know it's just just fantastic. But what is your what is your highlight experience that you had in this two sexuality? If you if you feel like sharing in a kind of a um, uh, eighteen plus video, eighteen plus, okay. If you feel uh, like my my truth, I will just share my truth. Uh, in sexuality Sweden, I remember it was one of the last days, one of the last nights, and when I could see the playroom full of people it was like. A, 150 people and we were like wow it feels like art it's like a, I would like to make a painting of this because people like uh, expressing their sexuality in different ways and like everyone was doing such a different thing and just being able to be there was like wow this is really something special um, yeah, they're, they're amazing workshops. So they are workshop leaders from Brazil, workshop leader from Europe, from Sweden, and from Germany. And we have all different flavors. And, you know, everything is based on the idea of consent. So when stuff is happening, then we're all in the right place together. Um, but then there are so many explorative workshops that you have the opportunity to have the experience that you want to have because all the facilitator, we are on the same page with each other and be creating an environment that is really juicy, delicious and transformative um, for you. But my experience in, in, in this events uh, like sexability is one specific thing and that's mm. the playroom. Yeah, <laughs> I the did, you know, Just for the playroom to come could be enough and having the rest of the day just fun meeting people and just <laughs> making new friends. <laughs> and then you go to the playroom every night. Yeah, this is my thing, this is what I do. Uh, and it's fun because I, my first sexuality, I was already in the playroom as a playroom coordinator. So I was also living my first experience in the playroom and having uh, the opportunity to go to Sweden as well and do the same thing. So I, for me, the playroom is such a special place and is one of like the places that we are more taking care in sexuality mm. because we are aware of like okay this is a place for a lot of more freedom so it's also a place for a lot more of uh, support mm. so yeah uh, yeah i mean the, the great thing is so so alice is, uh, is is one of the star students of somatic consent so she did the mm. year training yeah. and uh she's kind of she's a new kid on the block kind of the rising star the mm. this generation <laughs> that needs to know all that stuff that we have explored experience and now giving to another generation not mm. that like that i'm that old but i'm old enough to just like you know inspire other people who are coming in who are much younger who are just starting this kind of um endeavor uh so so the the interesting thing is that that alice uh, is really educated in consent, is she's educated in BDSM, she has her own background and she taught last year at the Sexibility in Pirakanga the um, a whole space for the, for the playroom when I came there to support and I was so proud of you the way how you hold that place, Aww. it was so safe and was so sacred and so beautifully so people who come in they're not getting lost, they're not feeling kind of abandoned or rejected everybody's getting included and, and stuff is getting shared and, and I was there and I had such a good time so I, that was really uh, something to see you there the way how you do that so I want to say that uh, my, my acknowledgement and appreciation Thank so you. a last word for anybody for sexuality uh, mm. you want to share um, instead of just like just come but yeah, yeah. Anything else? I mean, the first is just come. It will change your life. Uh, it has changed so many lives, and every it's so beautiful to see like a year after the first version in sexuality, or like a, a few months after sexuality, so m- much transformation happened with everyone that I know, uh, everyone that I kept in touch, 
uh, it's also a beautiful opportunity to just meet great people like the people that I love the most the people that I respect and admire the most they have been to sensibility <laughs> yeah so yeah this is my input how about you yeah. so beside having fantastic workshops with amazing workshop uh, leaders uh, it will be great food uh, it's an, an uh, a really nice uh, environment in nature um, meeting nice people uh, we have great musicians we have great art and dancing and uh, it's it's literally six days of rocking your world in the most positive in the most sex positive way that you can imagine so we're so looking forward to welcoming you and if you have any questions please reach out to Elise or you can reach out to me or to Lorenzo or anybody around the team and uh, ask the question so if you had some sex positive experiences on the festival this one will definitely top it up or if you didn't have any experience on a sex positive festival just come and join and you know this is the perfect start um, with the right people with the right environment and um, so and we are um, binary no, we're non-binary we are inclusive all people and we we are um, making sure that we speak in the language that is needed. All right, I'm super excited. It starts soon. Um, we have limited tickets. So if the tickets are gone, it's gone. So we are an intimate festival and uh, we would love to have you. Au revoir, bye bye. <laughs>